did you ever maybe go to a museum and find that there's so much to see that you just can't do it in one day? Our John Last had that problem during his visit to a museum in Warren County. And he tells us about it in this edition of The Last Word. I'm at the Wilder Museum in the Warren County community of Irvin. I love this place. There's so many fascinating things to see here. I can't talk about them all in the time they give me for this story. So I'm gonna pretend I'm David Letterman. I'm gonna do a top 10 list. So that's right this way. Michelle Gray, the managing director at the museum, will help me with my choices by giving me a tour. Here we go. Number 10, Paizo's Cough Medicine, made in Warren. It included some mind-blowing ingredients. There's a lot of stories where people hallucinated from the drugs and eventually, of course, they, they shut down. Number nine, a cannonball found on the battlefield at Gettysburg. Well, it's pretty heavy and a uh, pretty remarkable piece. Number eight, an authentic Conestoga wagon from the 1860s. Kids love this display. It's a great little storyline to let them know how fortunate they are to live in this century. Number seven, a doll collection that includes a three-headed doll. And so she, she's pretty upset there. And she's coming around. Maybe she likes to go that way. There she's happy. And uh, oh, there she's sleeping. Number six, one-hand clocks manufactured by the One Hand Clock Company in Warren. Now they didn't last long. I don't think they're very efficient or practical. Number five, a horsehair coat worn by Jesse Thompson of Sugar Grove in 1909. But it is definitely made of horsehair. Someone who's allergic to animal hair, I promise you, it's real. Number four, the actual gun used to shoot and kill a judge inside the Warren County Courthouse in 1954. He's the first judge shot while sitting on the bench in the country. Number three, a missile manufactured at the National Forge and Ordnance Company in Irvine. It can go through six feet of concrete. And this is definitely a prize item within the National Forge collection. It's, I mean, extremely unique to be able to have this on site. Number two, a Nazi flag captured during the liberation of Paris and signed by American soldiers. It was signed by Warren Countyans George Grettenberger out of Titiute and Joseph Cooper out of Youngsville. Number one, a replica of the office of eye doctor Richard Peters of Youngsville, including fake eyeballs. Look at that. Oh my. Ooh. This hurts just to uh, think this Just in to your think eyeballs. about it. With the last word at the Wilder Museum in Irvine, John Last, Erie News Now. That's some amazing sure stuff is. there. Really is. And the Wilder Museum of Warren County History, located on Erie Avenue in Irvine, is open from May 30th through October 14th. So a few more weeks if you want to get out there. Yeah, certainly worth the trip. Hours are from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday.